As we learn more details about the massacre in Orlando, many are asking why did it take police three hours to end the bloody siege? Christine Leinenen lost her son in the shooting. I don't understand why the police took so long to get in there while the, our kids were in there. After the Columbine tragedy in 1999, law enforcement changed tactics, deciding shooters had to be taken down immediately rather than wait for SWAT teams to assemble. But former NYPD hostage negotiator Wally Zion says cops also need to be flexible. If you have an active shooter that you have shots fired, usually the SWAT team will go in. But in this type of situation, they had quite a few different variables. After gunfire erupted at 2 a.m., police made a critical decision to back off. They knew there were dozens, perhaps hundreds, of potential hostages inside. On the phone talking to cops, the shooter hinted that he also had a bomb. They have to regroup and think. You have 300 people in there. You have injured people in there. If an explosion goes off, you can have a mass casualty incident. At 5 a.m., the decision was made to go in, breaking through a wall in the nightclub with a bear cat. Hostages ran out, but so did Omar Mateen. Cops mowed him down. The longer the negotiation, the better chances of a successful outcome. I think and I believe that they made the right decision based upon they had negotiations going on during that time period. Now we're learning that the deadly massacre could have been even worse. Omar Mateen tried to purchase body armor, which could have deflected the police bullets. So how hard is it to buy body armor? We had no problems finding it online. All we had to do was provide a driver's license and sign a document stating that the purchaser was not a felon. And just one day later, here it is. Now let's see what's inside. And here it is, a vest with armored plates. And this thing is the real deal, military grade. If the Orlando shooter would have had something like this, that three hour siege could have lasted much longer. Turns out there are very few laws prohibiting the sale of body armor, but many stores like Cops Plus in Queens, New York, refuse to sell to civilians. We take these precautions very seriously when it comes to body armor because we don't want this stuff getting into the wrong hands. <laughs>